George has been building this, this offering and plans to launch a community here in the very near future. And kind of reached out to me a few weeks ago to see if there might be some recipe to help streamline the process for creating a bunch of content around launching a new community and things of that nature. And so I'm going to be bringing George up and we're going to begin to George talk a little bit more about what he's got going on, what he's building. And then we're going to start diving in to see what areas we can start to build inside of Jasper and ultimately create a recipe around so that you guys can also use that as well for your content and the products that you guys are launching. I'm going to open up a Jet GBT one also. And see if we can start to give it some of this information. So this is how I've been playing around with Jasper chat, not Jasper chat GPT. In terms of look back feature, I feel like chat GPT can look back like a pretty good amount and it can continue kind of like the thread of a lot of what we're giving it right here. And, and how I've been seeing other people using it on like the marketing and like email development side is like you feed it a bit more of this information in terms of the prompts beforehand, and then just keep having it learn from the outputs that it's giving itself and the content, the outputs get better as you keep doing that. And so I'm just gonna start this here and I'm gonna go back up to the top. I'm gonna add in the context again. Here. And then back in Jasper, kind of want to compare the outputs I'm getting yeah. here as well. So we're just going to do with the exact same type of information that we've given it already. And here, I'm just going to see where chat GPT leads me. Just for fun, I'm also going to do the exact same inputs to Jasper chat because I want to see, because my experience, at least as of late, was that chat is actually a little bit better and being a little bit more creative right out the gate. And I think we can see that right here, that this yeah. has a little bit more personality to it with what we've given it. Of course, we would change the avatar here, stay in the loop, giving you a sneak peek. In just 10 minutes, I might not use fun, lighthearted. You just edit that out, right? If or some yeah, of this yeah. stuff yeah. doesn't make sense. So buckle up space adventure. Let's go blast off success. Yours in orbit. <laughs> I like that. Um, it's a good sign off. So let me just do this and see where Jasper chat goes because. This is great because I'm seeing how easy it would be to blend ideas and wording from Jasper as well as chat GPT. I find, especially when like doing an exercise like this for this sort of content, like you don't have the ability inside of either chat or GPT to experiment and do the compose and testing these commands a little bit more. And that's why I really like using boss mode for that. But once we've put all of this together, it makes these sort of outputs that much easier to get. Yeah. Now that let's just say this is the welcome email that I want to use. And does this look like a better welcome email to you, George, versus what we had before? This is what we had initially. Yeah, I think so. You can always combine the two, right? You take the best from one, you throw away the trash yep. from the other. Yep. Yours in orbit. I think that's good. Keep the emoji there. And cool, I've got like a nice solid welcome email. Now what I'm going to do is take this, the prompt from here that we made in Jasper, and I'm going to say, I'm going to add that into chat GPT based on the, I'm going to say like context above, mm. 
write an email that reinforces that. Checking in on your journey from the stars. So he's saying, I hope you had a blast learning about the points in the, in the micro course. It's giving a little tip, right? You just modify that as you need it. Stay spaced out. <laughs> so like a little bit more, I think like a little bit more personality as we start to feed it some stuff in yeah. here. But again, I'm not going to want to keep, I'd rather add this context back into Jasper as I'm building it out. And maybe it's again, a mix of what we added right here. So you could say I can get too nitty gritty with it while we're here. So we'll be sending all this content to you, George. So again, you would just add in some of your key points here. Yeah. Maybe we'll just add those in. Cool. And then again, we come back down to this command. And similarly, like, ja like Jasper is going to be referencing all this stuff above too. And so I want to see again, based on the content above, write out another email here. Do you have a sense, Darby, of how high up chat GPT can read? I don't seems to be longer than 3000 characters yeah. like you have in Jasper, but I feel like it actually goes a bit longer. I don't have any exact numbers right now, but so I was talking to some other guys about how they're using it for like avatar research and yeah. like they'll feed it a lot of this information up front and then start after going somewhat deep, they'll start to ask some more like specific questions and it, the answers only get better the more information you're giving inside of this, like similarly to how you works with Jasper. So I think here it's going to give you some, kind of, some like behind the scenes stuff that you would obviously want to modify. We'll see feedback. Avatar is already using our resources, getting results. It's because you might have what a few different emails going out for a few different sorts yeah. of things. So I would say like based on the last email, write th three emails that discuss different things going on and being built inside the community. This stuff obviously look like needs some editing right out the kind yeah. of gate, but I mean, the most important thing to highlight with this is that like we can take now like this prompt. And I do find that chat GPT and Jasper chat can probably do like a similar job, but chat's pretty good at giving out like a few different email, like examples, invitation to workshop. It's giving you a new features, new features email. And so not a bad idea to have, Hey, this is the new feature. This is a new thing. And so like, it's still just giving you stuff that we can brainstorm with and yeah. ultimately end up if you want to put it inside of the flow, but new resources, I'm thrilled to announce the release of a comprehensive guide. So these are just might be things that you already have in your pocket, George, and just are letting people know inside of that. Yeah. What's cool about this is like creating not just the content and like the starter material, but it's also jogging my memory about things that I could be talking about. Cause yeah, I have a lot of this content already from years of putting material together. I've forgotten about it. And then seeing Jasper produce what it's producing and chat GPT bringing up prompts, I'm reminded, oh yeah, I should talk about this. I should talk about that. Oh, that's great. And it's such a, I think a good highlight to like the use case on these being like really great for brainstorming and getting like yeah. these things off the ground. And now you're getting ideas for, oh, I can just, I can talk about this a little bit. I can modify the email.